Hey Zareen, can you tell me about the Outlook integration for OnBase, specifically how to install it and maybe some tips and tricks? Sure, I'd love to help. Let me share my screen. With the integrated version of OnBase, we can use OnBase inside the Outlook and organize our documents from there. We'll start a demo with the installation of integrated in OnBase. We'll talk about the button and folder configuration. Also, we'll go over some tools regarding that OnBase. We'll start with a PowerPoint presentation for the installation and then we'll jump into a live demo. To install the integrated version of OnBase first, we need to make sure that all the general requirements are met. We'll be installing the 2019 version of integrated OnBase and for that version, we need to make sure all these requirements are met. The other requirements will be to pre-install Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 tools for Office Runtime. We also need to make sure that Office and Highland Office integration has the same bid version and the same year. For this demo, we install 64-bit Office 2019, so we are installing 64-bit Highland Office Integration 2019 version. We also need to install, install Office before installing the integrated version. There are three ways to install integrated Outlook, which are ClickOnce Installer, MSI Installer, and Setup.exe, and all this installer includes a user interface. We'll be talking about Setup.exe in this demo. For more information on ClickOnce and MSI Installer, check the email Outlook 2019 22.1 version MRG. We can either install integrated on base silently or with GUI format where user interface is available. We'll talk about installing with user interface in this demo. For that, we'll go to the installer saved in our local hard drive, then double click on the setup XCE file, click next. The setup custom setup page is displayed. Click the drop-down list beside the name of a company to display the installation options. We'll be installing Outlook 2019 integration, so we will click on the arrow and select entire feature that will be installed in local Total Drive. Click Next. The IDP server URL page is displayed. Select IDP support if your system uses the Highland Identity Provider server for authentication. In this case, we'll skip it and then click Next. The service location page is displayed. In the display name field, enter the name of the service location. In this case, we'll be writing OnBase. In the service path field, enter the full URL to the OnBase application server service page. In the data source field, enter the data source name for the appropriate data source. From the NTLDAP authentication drop down list, select yes if your system uses NT or LDAP. For this workstation, it will be no. Click Next and then the um, Outlook Integration Toolbar Configuration page is displayed. These are the button configuration which we will see on top ribbon of the integrated OnBase. The import button will allow users to import messages directly to OnBase from Outlook. The launch client button will allow users to launch the OnBase client directly from Outlook. The retrieval button will let users to retrieve documents archived in OnBase directly from Outlook. The workflow button will launch the workflow client directly from Outlook. The help button is available on the integration with OnBase ribbon. And the form button will allow users to create eForms or Unity forms from Outlook. The import button will allow users to import selected documents to OnBase. The image group buttons allow users to route messages and its attachment into a scan queue or batch scan process. Finally, the My Reading Groups button allows users to open the My Reading Groups interface. For this demo, we'll enable all of them. Click Next to continue configuring Outlook integration option. The first option lets the users change the default configuration of their integration with OnBase ribbon. For the second option, the set default settings of this deployment instance override the settings of clients installed using an earlier version of this deployment instance. The third option lets the users change the configuration of their Outlook folders. With the last option, email notification will be sent with specific information on the ad hoc task that was executed. For this demo, we'll enable all of them and then click Next. If the import button was enabled in the Outlook Integration Toolbar Configuration page, then the import button configuration page may be displayed. All this option will configure the import option of the integrated Outlook. The first three options will configure where the emails will go after importing to OnBase. 
The first option will put email messages in the same Outlook mail folder after being imported. The second option will delete the emails from the email server after being imported. The last one will move the email messages from the Outlook folder to a different folder after being imported into OnBase. And in the next box over here, we'll configure where to put these email messages. For this demo, we'll enable the first option to keep the emails in the same folder. Next section is button configuration page. The first one will automatically select all the email attachment when importing email messages into OnBase. The next option will set the date as the date this email was sent when importing to OnBase. If this option is not selected, the date when the email messages was imported into OnBase is used as the document date. We'll select yes for both options for this demo. For the storage option, the first option will store the email in MSG format. If that is enabled, we can make the email attachments store as separate documents by the next option. We'll enable the MSG option and decline to save the attachments separately and then click next. If the client executable button was enabled in the Outlook interrogation toolbar configuration page, then the client executable button configuration page may be displayed. In the executable path box, we have to put the path to the exe file by clicking on browse and navigate to onbase and select the exe file. In the executable command line switches file field, um, we can enter any onbase command line switches like auto login command. For this demo, we'll keep this field blank and then click next. For the folder configuration, we'll keep it blank for this demo but we can create a folder configuration file using the folder configuration utility and enter the full path to it in the folder configuration file field. Um, then click next. We're going to click install. After installing it, we're going to click on finish. After installation, we will go to our desktop and we're going to open Outlook and click on OnBase from the top ribbon. Sign into OnBase if it wasn't signed in before. And these are the buttons that we configured during the installation. This button will let us uh, retrieve documents from OnBase. This will let us import this email to OnBase. This button will let us open OnBase client directly from Outlook. This will open the workflow. And this section will let us send this email to a scan queue or a batch processing. If any of these options are missing from the ribbon, we can go to File. On base and we can select the option of button configuration from here there is another utility called auto folder um, this utility is to perform a certain task when we manually put an email in the folder to config for auto folder configuration we're going to click on folder configuration we're going to click on this plus icon for creating the folder and we're going to select where we want to save the new folder. So we're going to click inbox, click new, and we're going to name the folder. We, it's always recommended to name the folder to reflect its action. Select, so then click OK. Then we're going to select the new folder and click OK. Now the rule box, dialog box is displayed. These are the rules we want our emails to follow when we import to this folder. For this demo, we want our email messages to archive to a specific document type. To configure the document type, we're going to click on this hyperlink and then we can configure what kind of document type that we want it to be configured as and click OK. For this demo, we already created a folder over here. It's called a demo folder. And when we drag an email into this folder, it will automatically perform the task that it, the rule box was set up for. For more information on this and others, please check the email Outlook 2019 22.1 version MRG. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. If you have a question that you would like answered on an upcoming question corner, please leave a comment below.